Welcome to Imperial CAT system. In this video, I will show the command bead on CATIA V5 surface modeling. What is this command bead? Is see, it is in a surface modeling, CATIA V5 surface modeling. Get into surface modeling, start shape, generative shape design. Kupa, okay. bead option see here uh, you can see this option uh, in biw templates toolbar so how to use this option to use this option first you need a, uh, you need a surface which has a sharp edge see for that first i go to sketch I select extrude option I give some 50 mm I select mirror or 75 see bead is a simple option where you need to select a, a corner edge see select bead option base surface select as the surface location point see right click create point if you if you create a point on the surface or somewhere it will not accept see you will get error see just i selected a, a point on the surface go for okay now we can see the error the point should lie on the short page so you have to select a point on the corner edge in such a case i delete i again select the command b base surface as this surface location point right click create point on curve see from this point to some distance here directly you can give length i want at a, some 25 mm distance then there see taking that point as a reference keeping that at center see here you can see here dimensions so for this you can see dimensions to increase this uh, like width height everything you can have parameters so you can see parameters see here i turn back side see here you just double click on this 5 mm i make that 10 height double click some 15 see here to in, to change width i just take it stop you see here see this side in this direction in the y direction i want to change the width you can double click and you can extend or else you can you can directly double click here in this window you can able to see the same uh, the bead option here see here You just you can double click this at the total width and increase then go for okay see here total width 16 from here to here 16 in x direction in the other direction y direction 11 i double click and i make that 10 and height from this edge height double click this some 12 mm then go for okay so this is bead i turn this and i'll show you see here i 
I still increase its parameters. I give 20, 25, width in y direction 20. Then I go for OK. See here. With a single option, you will get this output. See this BIW templates, uh, these commands, uh, it generates an output where if you want to generate the same type of output with other options, uh, then you have to use uh, uh, two or more number of options. Say suppose in my past video, I have explained this junction as well as Diabolo, the outputs uh, which it creates. In the same way, the same output if you want to generate without using these options, you have to, you have to use uh, two or more options for that. So the commands in this toolbar with the single command, you will get uh, this type of outputs. Say suppose if you want to create a same bead without using this uh, uh, bead option, then how to create this that also i will show in this video see at this position see this is bead at this position i create another one then i take a plane offset plane for some distance Select that plane, go to sketch, without using a bead, I want to generate this type of output. I want a surface. Uh, See, I want to extrude this surface in this direction. So, if I go for extrude, see, you can't select Y direction. Okay. So, the direction should be perpendicular to this line. Say suppose it is 45 degrees. 45. So what I do is I go for again another sketch. I take reference. Just this is just a reference. Ninety degrees. See, now you can extrude in this direction. See here. Like this, but you want uh, to shift this surface to some angle. See, to give some angle to this, uh, with extrude you can't give angle. In this case, go for sweep. Second option, line with the drop direction. Select guide curve. This one. Drop to direction this one and give length here 20 mm. The other direction I just select this side arrow so that it moves to the other, or you can give length to without selecting this arrow. Is you can give uh, you can change length one and length two. I just increase this, 
go for preview in this you can also give angle say i give 30 degrees see here so 40 degrees whatever the angle it needs give that so this surface we got a surface we got with some angle uh, by the command sweep with a drop direction now go for mirror option symmetry select the surface select this plane then go for ok see here now join these two surfaces 1 and 2 now split split inside first split element to cut is this surface cutting element this joined surface then go for ok see here we got then again use split option element to cut is this one cutting element you can select the other surface other side go for ok so this is a a bead the same type of bead which the same type of bead which you got uh, without using this option in BIW templates uh, uh, we have to use more number of options like uh, we have to take a sketches sweep uh, mirroring that surface uh, join and split so instead of using this we got only with a, a single command bead then in this bead we don't have an angle now see the bead which we have created uh, by using BI template options uh, it doesn't have angle we are given uh, dimensions uh, but here uh, sweep with the drop direction uh, it has an angle but we don't want angle we want a distance from here to here in that case see split uh, So this pink one is uh, we got by using a drop direction properties this is bead we got this uh, by using BAW template command now distance I want I don't want with angle with a distance like this bead option then I select middle plane I go to sketch for a visibilities I create I uh, I'm taking line somewhat a bigger to the others now give some angle for this you can give height here as in bead option it is mentioned here height some 30 I am giving 45 degrees so 30 30 both will be 30 30 or if you want to if you want to give uh, I, I don't want uh, 30 uh, horizontally I want some 40 then delete this angle and give horizontal distance 40 or 35 now this width I want to define this width I select this surface I go to sketch I take profile like this 
now you can give distance here some distance i want this 20 coincide this right click coincidence exit now see here this is 20 means uh, total width you will get 40 now go for sweep option simple first option is enough for this profile guide curve go for preview go for ok that's it then go for mirror symmetry select this surface and plane join this so that it becomes single surface same thing the others all the same options where we use it for this split element to cut cutting element other side or else first we split uh, the main surface element to cut is this surface cutting element is this joined surface other side go for ok then again split element to cut cutting element is this edge and this edge go for ok both edges you just select with the single command so this is bead so three types i have shown in this video using this command is you can easily use this command but instead of using this command the output which it gives we have to know uh, how to create the same type of output with the other options one option is a sweep with a drop to direction in that we can give angle we can give for angle for this surface for this surface and if you want to define a width then same sweep option uh, you have to take two profiles and give to and you have to give width so three ways to generate a bead after that uh, just add thickness by getting into the part use thick surface option thank you for watching this video for more videos share and subscribe imperial cad system